Yo, what is good? We're back with another video. Today we're going to be going over this trade that I took and I want you to realize I only took three or four trades last week and the first day that price looks good, I'm already up 400 over $400, I think 460 beating last week's red week because I only had three trades and I was down like $100. If you're not in the free get discord, go join it. It is linked down below, but let's go over why I took this trade real quick. So if we take a look at ES right here at open, we see ES is pushing up nq chopping around here and that is giving me my bearish bias because i wanted to see that weekly imbalance get tapped into right this weekly imbalance right here i wanted that to be the draw unfortunately we already took these equal lows right here so you can expect it to be choppy at open but that weekly was the draw for uh nasdaq today so going down to the one minute whenever where is it uh that's 9 a.m 9 a.m Whenever we are chopping like this on NQ and ES is ripping, what does that say? It is saying NASDAQ is much weaker and whenever bearish momentum starts to come in on ES, NQ is just going to sell. So that is exactly why I took this trade. Um, I know somebody took this one. This is too early. Look at ES. ES is at the highs up here. NQ. Oh, wait, no. ES at the time was bouncing off of this five minute imbalance so we had two imbalances on es that we were bouncing on so we had that five minute and then we had this bearish five minute right here this is when time is right to short this whenever we see es look at these wicks es wants nothing to do with this five minute it wants to go down this right here this inverse right here is invalid because es is delivering from a bullish imbalance after we get this confirmation right here ES is in a bearish imbalance and then we get this displacement down I know NASDAQ is ready to flip NASDAQ was ready to go as soon as ES showed that bearish sentiment so right there as soon as we came into that bearish or this uh, bullish inverse bullish fair value gap that turned inverse I shorted at 842 as soon as we came into that and then I got out at almost the lows I think I what well, I don't I don't think I was paying attention here and then I looked over and we were uh, pushing back up and I uh, took the position off I was still only trading one contract because it is Monday last week was not the best price action so I want to see price start to clear up before I start to get into more positions like sizing in and adding pyramiding into my positions but other than that that was the trade it was that simple of a trade when ES comes up we get, tap into this 15 minute fair value gap get that displacement down right here tap into the five minute imbalance get that displacement down on the one minute nasdaq is ready to go nasdaq has said okay es has done its job i'm ready to go as well and then we get that sell off in the morning boom sold all the way off down to here and i think we actually standard deviations negative two negative two and a half is low of day boom and 871 i thought was the draw that's why i tried to target longs but other than that that was the only trade for today so this was a quick recap video i'm out peace